What's happening tonight right here in the tri-state is a story straight out of the movies, except it's real. Now we could know as soon as tomorrow if a boy wandering a street in Newport is the same boy who vanished eight years ago in Wisconsin. This story started on May 11, 2011. Timothy Pitson's mom took him out of school. She said she had a family emergency. That is the last time anyone saw the six-year-old. Until today, according to the boy in this picture who was wandering in Newport, we blurred his face, by the way, a team of reporters is covering this bizarre story for us tonight. We begin with Brad Underwood, who spent some time with the people who found the boy. Brad? Well, good evening, Rob. The 14-year-old most likely crossed the Taylor Southgate Bridge to get from Ohio to Newport, uh, where we are standing at 8th and Columbia. That's where he was found this morning. You know, the people who live here, they say he looks suspicious. He was acting a little funny, but when they approached him, he said he asked for help and told them he wanted to go home. This is the picture of the 14-year-old. Around 7.30 in the morning, Sharon Hall took it. She thought he was up to something standing near her neighbor's SUV. Minutes later, another neighbor calls police. When he talked to the girls, he said that he was tired and he's been passed around and he's lost. And that he's from Aurora, Illinois. If he's who he says he is, he's been passed around for seven years. An unimaginable experience in captivity for anyone, let alone a child. It's like he wanted help. He did, but he didn't know who to trust to get that help. That's how he looked. Frey Knight says the boy looked scared. He looked lost, and when he took off his hoodie, he was covered in bruises. All of this was red, and this was red, like he'd been punched. He didn't look well kept. His hair wasn't combed or anything. He, to me, he looked hungry. Like me and her said, if we would have known that, we'd have brought him in the house and fed him. But he wouldn't go near anyone for more than a moment until police took him away leaving the people in the neighborhood wondering what happened to him and how did he get to Columbia Street. Seven years, that's a long time. It's a long time and I hope, I hope and pray that he gets some help and anything that this neighborhood can do, we'll do it for him. I know, I know Newport people are good and we would do something for him. And while the people in this neighborhood may never see the 14 year old, you do get that vibe that they would do anything to help if asked because they did that today. They didn't ignore a scared, lost 14 year old boy wandering around the street. They stopped him. They asked what was going on. They called 911 and hopefully he'll be able to get back with his family very soon. Reporting live in Newport, Kentucky. Brad Underwood, Local 12 News. Rob. Brad, thanks very much. There's a lot more to this story, Paula. Yeah, and this is video of Timothy's mother taking him from the Chicago area school that day in 2011. They later went to a zoo, then a water park. Two days later, her body was found in a motel room. She killed herself, but she left a note that said Timothy was safe, but that he would never be found. As you can imagine, news that Timothy could be alive after all these years is sort of surreal to his family. Cautiously hopeful, very cautiously hopeful. And if it turns out to be him, we'll be thrilled. That is the boy's grandmother. She says they never gave up hope that he was still alive. Now they are sitting back hoping it is him. What's, what's hard is the story that he escaped from captors. And uh, your mind goes in too many directions that you don't want to think about. And what I've prayed about since he's been gone is that God will keep him close and take care of him and that maybe by some stroke of luck he was with people who would love him and if that's not the case um, it, it will be heartbreaking to get through and it'll be a legacy for Tim for the rest of his life. If it really is Timothy who was walking down the Newport Street today, he escaped a life that was brutal. Police say he got away from two kidnappers who had been holding him for years. Christian Hauser is outside Children's Hospital tonight with a search for these men. Christian. Paula, Aurora, Illinois police have been talking to the teen for several hours here at Children's Hospital. Investigators say that they're looking for two white men with tattoos tonight. The teen says that they're armed, so they are considered especially dangerous. 
The Campbell County dispatchers alerted Hamilton County about the found teen and the story of the abduction. The police dispatch was recorded by Rangecast. We have to locate suspects from a missing person possible abduction that occurred approximately seven years ago. The boy didn't have much information to give police about where he'd been kept or how long he'd been there. He stated that he was in a red room and with the suspects. He told police his kidnappers were two white men who looked like bodybuilders. He says one has black curly hair and was wearing a Mountain Dew t-shirt with jeans. He went on to say the suspect has a spiderweb tattoo on his neck. The young man also says the second suspect was short but also had tattoos and that both men had guns. He says they were in a newer model white Ford. A Ford two-row SUV with a dent on the back bumper, Wisconsin tag. The uh, incident occurred in Wisconsin. The teen says he'd been staying at a Red Roof Inn but didn't know which one. Several police agencies checked Red Roof Inns in the area, but nothing was found. The boy says he escaped from the suspects and kept running, eventually over a bridge into northern Kentucky where he was found. The family has been asked not to come here to Cincinnati yet until investors, investigators are sure that this is Timothy. Now they've been running, they ran a DNA test on him. They actually have a DNA sample, so they'll be able to sh be sure 100% if this is the missing teen. I'm told those results should be available sometime tomorrow. Live at Children's Hospital, Christian Hauser, Local 12 News. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Christian. And of course, there's a whole lot more to this story. We are surely going to be learning it in the coming days. And we're working with our affiliates in Chicago and also in Rockford to find every detail of the bizarre case.